In our book, Prayer and Pound Cake, we stress the importance of understanding your mission and vision. Mm -hmm. And looking at the vision and mission of the AME Church, it was very, very clear to us growing up. Mm -hmm. um, and so that was something that we held on to and that we always lean on or leaned on for, for guidance and almost everything in our lives. Richard Allen, the founder, Sarah Bass Allen, we claim some kinship to her. We are not sure, mm -hmm. but with the maiden name Bass, we believe that we're related some way, but they founded this church and they were very clear about God's gospel. They were very clear about the truth, ab mm -hmm. about right and wrong. And um, like Didi said, even when you stray from the truth, when you know what the truth is, you know how to get back to it. And so for us growing up, um, having a church that was unwavering on the gospel has been critical to who we are as women, as a pink professional aunt, no kids, Dee Dee right. as a mother. Um, the, the, the teaching of the AME church has made us who we are today. This is from the AME church from the website, the vision, the vision of the AME church at every level of the connection and in every local church, the AME church shall engage in carrying out the spirit of the original free African society out of which the AME church evolved. That is to seek out and save the lost and to serve the needy. It is also the duty of the church to continue to encourage all members to become involved in all aspects of church training. Awesome. And that mandate to seek and save the lost, mm -hmm. that's what it's all about. That is the great commission as we are, you know, in the Easter season, Christ's commission to us is to seek and save the lost. Um, mm -hmm. God gave Peter some very clear instructions. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. Matthew 28, 19 through 20. That is the Great Commission. Um, the lost can only be saved through the gospel. Period. Right. Period. And that's the only way that they can be saved. And we are proud to to have been raised in the AME Church. We are proud to have uh, ministers um, in our family that are part of the AME Church. Amen. But and we're calling on all church leaders, all AME Church leaders. Um, this is the time where you can't shrink. You have to speak out. You have to, I don't even know if it's being bold, Dina. It's just, it's just doing what's right. Um, when there are conversations that are being had on the issues of gender identity and sexuality and parental rights and, and religious um, liberties, we need all those church leaders to stand up and speak according to the gospel. Right. And they have to. They have to. And Didi, it's interesting. The AME Church certainly is on the front lines when it comes to issues of, of um, racial injustice that we see mm -hmm. on issues yep. of, 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 of um, poverty that are critical. They must be out front on those issues. But I feel like there is a silence on issues of gender identity and the, this, these conversations that are being had. Um, it's almost as if they, like, I don't hear them at all. And I, and I want to, because we're not like, we don't, you and I don't attend AME churches anymore. So maybe we're not in the, at, at the pulse, but, but to the people who do attend AME churches, like where is the AME church out front on these very critical issues of like when president Biden says that it's okay for an eight or 10 year old to like for their parents to embrace their decision to have, um, to be a different sex. And some people right. are like, why y'all get, why y'all always talking about that? Why do y'all want to, I mean, we first, because thought, it's important. We talk, about, we talk about a lot of things and we're not going to just focus on, we talk about capitalism and we talk about gender identity. We talk about right. taxes and we talk about, you know, pound cake. So we are, we talk about everything. And right, right. now we're talking about this and we want to know where is the church? 
Dina, um, this is a Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. warned the church must be reminded that it's not the master or the servant of the state, but rather the conscious of the state. It must be the guide and the critic of the state and never its tool. If the church does not recapture its prophetic zeal, it will become an irrelevant social club without moral or spiritual authority. So the church mm, has wow. to stand up and the leaders of the church have to stand up. In case you missed them, you can listen to archived episodes of Policy and Pound Cake, link in bio.